Hi, how's it going folks? I'm Scott Stragon and welcome back to Subnautica, the Platinum playthrough. So we got quite a f substantial bit done in the last episode, but we've got to keep up with the scanning and the foraging and farming side of things at the moment. Because we need to gather our tools and make sure we've got our equipment sorted. Right, so, if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, we subscriptions most welcome, totally appreciated. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Also, leave me a wee comment, let me know what you think. And, great, typical gaming scenario, it starts to get dark. But, Warning. local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Okay. So the ship's going to blow up in about two hours time. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll just dive straight in, shall we? <laughs> um, right. So, we have been picking up resources from Limestone. Oh, copper, perfect. Um, we really need to get some... Whoa. Really need to get some silver. Uh, that's a wee silver guy, silver guys. That's a wee creature egg. Oh, there's more silver there. Um, right, we need to get some silver. Uh, and quartz, so we can get a bigger oxygen tank. That's going to be our starting point. And then out. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is there. And that, and then grab this crystal, or quartz, which is actually crystal, which then you can turn into glass. I didn't mean, I meant to say in the last episode, that these blue fish, these are called bladder fish. Uh, we'll get the wee scanner out. Uh, basically, oh, can I scan them? I must have already scanned them. These are great because if you keep them alive, pop that in your, your pocket there now. <laughs> Um, basically, you go to the fabricator and they can make water. So, it's a good thing to stock up on these quite early on. Um, peepers are good for food. Um, but yeah, eventually we will get a thing called... Um, is, it, is it a hot knife? Basically, when she kills something with it, it actually cooks the fish. So basically, instead of running back to the fabricator all the time to cook fish, all the time so you can eat, you can actually eat on the run. Which saves a lot of time and a lot of hassle. But it's going to get a bit... Uh, uh, I don't think I want to be in a tunnel when it started, I think. Um, that's a link stone, but we want copper anyway because we need batteries. Crystal, we need glass. the fish we need for water. <laughs> this is where the grab trap comes in. Really, really handy. Because you just put it down and everything it grabs a hood of everything for you. So you don't need to chase it. Right, so we're just going to head back there now and get these bits and pieces that popped away. Hopefully by the time we're ready to come back out it's got a bit lighter. Um, Unfortunately with this, we can't exactly wait till it gets light all the time, or we'll get nowhere, so... 
Um, oh, we got another radio message. Right, so we were needing glass. So make some a piece of glass up. Um, copper wire. No, I'll keep the copper wire for batteries. Water. eventually especially when it's dark but we really do need a battery charger then uh, and the base habitat builder we will need one of those right so I'm just going to dive in the fabric here take that out we want to keep making health packs as you see we're starting to oops keep hitting the wrong button it's X to consume on this but on below zero X is to actually transfer the box so I've got to try and transfer something and end up eating it um, well this one it's R2 and we are playing on console uh, this is my console series so And fish does go off, and it goes off very quickly, so I had a great idea to begin with um, on, my other play th on my other, when I first played Subnautica, was to fill one of these up with cooked fish. It doesn't work. <laughs> right, what we got? That's a plant life stuff. Right, so we can put that in there. Crystal. Well, I'll take that back, crystal. Right? Keep that one for titanium. Oh, sometimes it gets a bit. Right. So that's pre made, so we'll put the glass in with that. Anything pre made, I usually try to keep to it. See this, we bobbing up and down the water. That's what we're talking about these. Once you get proper storage in, it's under the base, it's a lot better. I think you had a bit of titanium. Right, now crystal in here. Oxygen. Yeah, I'm only here. You see, we're at 75 oxygen. Once we get this next tank, it will help out a lot. So I think we'll go to 125. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, we should go to one two five. Uh, let's right. Need to scan all them. Oh, what was that? There's something else there to scan. But. Oh, there we go. Those are in weed. Right, and by scanning everything and scanning all these items, it does open. Um, not blueprint. Well, blueprints as such. It opens up new ways to get resources and stuff. That's one of the big corals, giant coral tubes. Um, we do really need to start heading uh, to structures. Um, grab that actually. Sometimes it is tricky, this is where the the 
grab ball is really good for when you're grabbing and trying to scan fish and stuff. <coughs> You get done. Oh. Come on. Yeah, it took a hit for that one, but should have got them scanned, hopefully. Longstone. Yes, so. Ouch. They do do a bit of damage. It does unlock uh, other bits and pieces if you can get them scanned for later on. So basically, it's really good, it's good to scan everything you can. Oh, well, can't take them all that really. Ouch. I think there's that many of these wee guys in here, but yeah. That was perfect. That was really good. Limestone. We're right, we need to find sandstone. Yeah, it's a creek vines is not that right there. See the light. Right. Basically, around these crashed areas as well are great because you find loads of stuff. Um, this is where most of the blueprints you get will be about. So Sometimes it's a wee bit tricky, you've just got to check inside the boxes and stuff as well. And same with like base building bits and stuff like that. It's, oh, that's a grab trap, that's a smith. Emergency. Oh. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, okay. 6, well, it looks like 5, the ship's about to blow up. 3, 2, The thing with that now is it widens the range of radiation that it's dishing out, which is not a great thing. So basically it's just uh, given us a new blueprint for that happening for the radiation suit. We need lead and fibre mesh, that's easy enough to do. Um, still need silver ore as well. Uh, so, um, get this metal broke down. Oh, what's that? It's bleach, salt, and coral tube sample. And we can actually start making disinfected water. I'm sure. That's. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to. I'll just check in a wee second. Right, that's done. So, if you go into our water, disinfected water, you make bleach. Which means too disinfected, which is. gives you more water than the ordinary one. <coughs> right, that's just the. Um, What's it saying? Now we do it in our tank, flares, and we can battery copper wire. 
See, that is handy the now, but it's really, you want to be draining, using batteries or batteries all the time. Right, we'll get healed up after. boxes are absolutely hopeless because they don't hold very much. As I was saying in the first video, it's, it can throw you off a wee bit when you are you spawn in one place, and then the next time you play it, you you spawn in a completely different place, which is good, but it can be a bit. Confusing to start finding your bearings, but shouldn't be too bad. You just need to start getting some wreckages, get some blueprints, and some. Oh. Start to find. Start to find some. There we go. So that's when this what we're wanting. That gold. So we're gonna. Oh, what is this? Eggs. Okay. We want to gather as much copper up as possible to begin with because it is an important resource, especially when we come in to start making some of the other bits and pieces. Um, at the moment, I don't seem to be finding very many sandstone outcrops. Stone. Where before my other playthrough it was a case of the other way around. Couldn't find any limestone, but I had hundreds of sandstone. Explode guy.
so I'll put a sun stone in soon. No, 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 flame stone again. Fuck away. Okay, <laughs> he's about overcharged him. Same one as I've been to. Um, yeah. So I want to be headings. Right, because. Where's the pod? Right, okay, I want to be heading. Okay, no. That way, I think. I'm pretty sure. Uh, looking at the positioning of where the aurora is. Yeah, we want to be heading this way. That's just me, I'm sure we should leave that for the time being because there is absolutely hundreds there, but. I don't know if I'll be able to dive down to the red. Mm -hmm. Right, another bit of crash ship. Counter. Mm -hmm. Seems right, cool. Alright, mm -hmm. so. Now be make beacons, which is pretty good. I don't know if they work the same way in this one as what they do in the other one. When you die, you actually deploy your beacon, which is pretty good if it does. Um, but then you've got the problem I'm maybe having a load of beacons a bit. <laughs> Suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. See the lead. Right, that's the red, the red grass is there. Um, see, I don't think I'll be able to get down that far, maybe. I was hoping to get this other tank before going into deeper water. It just means I've got to be more aware of trying to get out for here. Um, it's black again. Go. Yeah, so these first couple of episodes, I will not be doing any like sort of major editing um, towards for the farming stuff like that. Just to basically show you, because there's a lot of items you need to scan to get the information, the unlock blueprints and bits and pieces like that. So it's worthwhile showing you like what sort of plants and bits give you what. Okay, so 
Russian part. We are there. So if we come back around, we're actually heading back to the Aurora. We don't really want to go too close to the, the Aurora just yet. Um, I think we need some tabletop. Our bleach from giant coral tubes and salt. So I'll oh grab a bit of salt and we'll make some start making the better water, I think. Yeah, we've still got plenty of coral tubes actually around us. See, the first wee bit is just more about the farming, getting yourself prepared. And basically figuring out what everything is and what it's used for, really. This is why scanning everything is so important. in a minute. Right, so we make fibre mesh, we can make a silicon and a lubricant. So make up the fibre mesh is actually from the creep vine sample itself and this both of these are from the creep vines seed cluster. You can see how it shows you the wee picture of what it actually makes. Which is pretty cool. You split between the two. Nope. Still. Right, and fiber mesh actually meets first aid kits as well. And that's what the blueprint was that you got unlocked there. So, is this a Pathfinder tool? I've never used one. Um, oh, so. I wouldn't really possibly waste their resources. Um, and there we go, we can make a beacon. Which maintains the broadcast position configurable name. See, I don't know if in this one it will deploy me if you get killed, if you've got one in your inventory. Sandstone instead of, instead of silver. I preferred a bit of silver. Yeah. I think I'm going to just have to throw this stuff in here as well. Right, I've got quite a lot of bits. 
boxes but we'll just yeah, try and find space and then just shove it in any old place. Okay, so the hunt for silver continues. Let me get some oxygen and some fish. Oh, actually, I think we'll make a grav trap up to save time with that. Right, go into deployables. Right, we need a battery, some copper ore, hence how we needed a lot of copper. Right, so if we flick back to batteries, we can see. Acid mushroom and copper oil. What was that? Bathroom copper oil. Bathroom copper oil. Titanium. Okay. Right, so. In here, we've got some here. Acid mushrooms, two of them to one copper. Sure. Sure, that's that way. Oh, come on. See, this is why these lockers drive me nuts. Um, I'll get a titanium in there as well. One titanium. So, we need what? Two copper. I'll make the battery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Nope, not yet. Ah, it's just the battery. No, the good thing with these, you don't need to charge them. And we are all. Oh. Our other tools and our batteries would run, run out. Right. Okay, so dived in. Just we want to find a nice wee space that's plenty of like, edible fish in like the water fish. These wee squid guys are a pain because you can't eat them. Um, Somewhere where there's, there's a gary fish, peepers. Um, we would have liked some. Is that? Yes, it is. Right, we're going over here. We're going over here. And we're just going to deploy it over here. So we we'll just highlight it on the hot bar and R2. There we go. Easy as that. So it puts like a big leash thing on it. So you can then grab a hold of them. It's a lot easier. Oh, that was a new one. There we go. I'll do it for the time being. So we just leave that and it will keep gathering fish and it will keep them alive so it's not like they're going to rot while they're over there. Right, so back into the water again. I did say we were going to make some upgraded water but we can do that out in a bit. At the moment it's basically pure survival, keeping enough water in the base, in the life pod, to keep us alive. 
Tim food. And he made sure we're eating plenty. Uploaded to Alright, so there we go there, we've got life pod 3, crew reports are seagly damaged. Right, that's our next target. Um, should be alright, but it's quite a swim. Yeah, let's go, off we go. Where'd it go? There we are. And it's in the shallows, so we're all right. You just want to keep keep an eye out on what's on below us and stuff like that as well. The further you get away from these areas, the nastier the creatures get. Um, so, just going to keep an eye out for sandstone as well. Because we're still needing sandstone. Uh, sandstone, limestone. No, titanium. What's this one? Uh, take that. That's copper. I wouldn't refuse copper at any time. Um, yeah, that's no, not too deep. This one, and this will give us our next part. Uh, our next mission. There we are, there we have it there. So I'm just gonna go straight in. We get extra bits. Data boxes are good. That's a compass. Well we'll get one of them made as well. And a PDA for the grief. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yep. Right, what's that? Is that salt? Or salt, so we can... Um, grab this salt then now. It means we can make our new water. That sea glide fragment. Now we've got our... We just need bits for it. So, I'm just trying to see if there's any more bits of the vehicle crafter or that about. Um, hmm. Right in the middle of a week out for us, so. Right, there's sandstone now. Come on. Please be silver. Silver, based silver there we go. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. Um, we'll get up and get some air. We'll get back to the pod. Because I think it was only one silver we needed. Right, and that'll let us get the bigger <laughs> oxygen tank made. That's our fishing stuff. There we go. High capacity. One silver. Perfect. We can go and get our oxygen tank made. A bigger one. And your health does restore over time, but it does take a while. Hence you can see that my health has filled back up again. 
So if you are down a couple of points, then it will re refill over a bit of time. So you don't need to really waste, waste like a uh, medicat, even though they're making them all the time. But they do take quite a while. So we can make a better water now, which is a good thing because it means it refills more of a more of our water intake. We won't need to grab so many wee wee bloater fish to get the wee bottles of water. Right, let's see. Compass would we need a wiring kit? Oh we need silver as well for that, but no we'll go for the the oxygen tanks are a lot more needed. Which does affect him? Microorganism free. That's what it is. Need a coral, giant coral plate stuff. Let me just grab this. Why we grabbed some of this earlier. Um, table cut or no? Where's the copper? Right there it is there. So we've got four. So we'll take. Just take that. Uh, we take the glass. Where is it? It was glass. Right. Check again. Just thing, try to make so many things at one time. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't help. Right. So that's it. Right. So we we'll just make all this bleach because this is uh, the only use this stuff's got. Right. Then we come into water, and then it's disinfected water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. We need two of these bottles, I think, for every one we make, so that's pretty good. And we are needing two glass for titanium and more oxygen tank. Right, so we'll just put this water in here then out the road. And it says H2O of a E water, 30, compared to 20 of the other ones. We have a bit more work. You don't just go and grab a fish and then make your water. <laughs> so we need another titanium. And we need... Is it titanium? Oh, we need on our glass, will not it? There we go, so we need another two quarts to make a bit of glass. And just double check. Right, so it's just my standard O2 tank I need now. So basically, when you get that, just go back into your inventory, unequip that one, use the fabricator again, and there we have it, high capacity. And there we go, we can make the rebreather as well, so we need wiring kits, so that's more silver we need. That's really, really a priority as well. So we need silver for that, so we need two silver for a wiring cap. So that's four silver we need. Um, 
Yeah, it's the hunt for silver now again. Um, but yeah, we've got our better tank now, which increases. That's 90 seconds. Let's jump in the water and just see. 132 oxygen now we have. And once we get the rebreather, it's going to it's going to actually help even more we've been able to stay under for longer um, right okay so we'll just we've got 22 of them 100 oh, back in there yeah. Yeah, I'll be glad to get, like, start again, be able to start again, I'll be sorted out and get some good storage and so it's no bobbing about all the time. What was this? Another message, what we got? Slavery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships, they run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help. They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's going to have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. Mm All right. Pigeony guys. Yeah, that's quite cool. Right, folks. So we've made steady progress once again. We've upgraded our oxygen even more. We're doing so. It's given us the depth we can get down, probably be able to start finding more sandstone to get more silver. Then we can get like our compass and our bits and pieces still ready to go before we actually get right out into exploring this eight of the depths. Um, we will need the rebreather as well, preferably the sea glide, um, and maybe the wee. The, the wee handheld like diving something. Uh, what is it they call that? My, mind, my mind's a little sieve there now. Um, so we'll be looking for the rebreather anyway. The sea glide is the wee handheld one, and the sea moth. With the sea moth, we need to find another two bits of the mobile vehicle bay, so we've still got that to do within this sort of area. They will be about, it's just now we can get down deeper into the water. We can spend a bit more time looking for the stuff. And yeah, we want to. Excuse me, we want to start getting our bits and pieces together. It's just a pity we can't put them in the life pod. <laughs> a lot more storage in them. Right, folks, so if you're enjoying the series, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, we subscriptions most welcome, totally appreciated. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode. You might miss something crucial that you might not end up getting the platinum for. So. It just keeps you in tab with the videos when they come out and other videos that I'm putting up as well. Also, leave me a wee comment, let me know what you think.